Hey guys, it's Gail from Seattle Coffee Gear, and uh, because you asked, I'm going to show you how to clean, take apart the Fosto grinder by Rocket, and put it back together. What's the first thing you do? Unplug it. Very important. What tools are you going to need? A three millimeter hex wrench, a screwdriver, and preferably a number three. This is a number two, but I have a number three in this drill, and I'll show you why we have the drill in a little bit. And a brush and vacuum cleaner. That's really all you're going to need. So first thing you do, on these uh, grinders, there's a set screw here, and if you have this screwed in to hold the hopper in place, unscrew it. Make sure you do that, otherwise if you try to pull this out, you're just going to break the hopper. Close the gate valve, otherwise you're going to have beans all over, and I know you guys have seen me do that. I'm fully capable of it. I have this big frothing pitcher here to put the excess beans in because you might want to wash this while you have it apart. Come on. Get out of there. There. So, there. Now you can wash it. This one doesn't look too bad. This comes from one of our retail stores, so I guess they are kudos to them. They're really taking care of the gear down there. So as you can see, there are beans left in here, and that's where the vacuum comes into play. So we'll get that going. Then uh, there's a rubber... Uh, well, it's kind of a gasket, I would call it, that sits down in here that is a buffer between the metal and the hard plastic. Uh, cuts down on vibration. Take that out and you can wash that with soapy water. Let it dry. Now, as you can see, you have four hex screws up here. The nice thing about the uh, uh, fossil grinder is when you take this apart, you're not actually unscrewing the top burr, which changes the adjustment. That's how the adjustment is made. On these grinders, it's the bottom burr that's attached to the motor that goes up and down when you make an adjustment over here. That's what goes up and down. So the nice thing is you take the top burr off, put it back, your adjustment is still the same as long as you don't turn this. All right, let's take this apart. Don't lose the screws. And if you do, hardware store, stainless steel, metric. I don't know what the size is, I can't tell you that, but you can always take one that you didn't lose down and match it up. Whoop. All right, so there you go. That just lifts right off. That's just your cover. You can wash that with soapy water if you like. Now you can see there are three screws up in here that hold that top burr in. And this is the auger that kind of pulls the uh, beans down so that they go down in there and get ground up. I tried to loosen it. All I had was this, uh, the number two, and it was too tight. So I went downstairs, and this is an impact wrench with a number three, and loosened those things right up. They're already loose, but if you don't have an impact wrench, you might want to think about it. I mean, if borrow one, whatever it takes, because these were really tight, and so they should be. There's vibration here. They need to be tight. All right, there's your top burr. There it is, and this is the bottom burr right down here, as you can see. So there is, you know, some coffee in here, and this is down in this area right here. That's the chute. You don't really want to take this apart to get at the back of the chute. The electronics are behind this panel. I don't advise taking that apart. There's a couple of screws here. Just don't take it apart because you don't want to mess with the electronics. If you break that, that's a big part of this machine. All right, so first off, what I'm going to do is just give it a first time vacuum. And then what I want to do, my Palo brush, I want to get in here and loosen up all the stuff that didn't come loose. That's what I want to do. You
You know, you could use a uh, like a dental pick too if you want to get really fussy about it. But this brush is pretty much, I'm looking to get uh, out of the blades. And then while you have this open, run your finger around backwards against the cutting edge and see what it feels like. If it's getting really dull and doesn't feel sharp to your fingers, then I would say at a certain point you're going to have to replace these burrs. And they are replaceable. That's not a big deal. And then also look at the cutting edges. Right here. This, each one of these is a cutting edge. They shouldn't reflect any light. If they reflect light, a nice sharp edge doesn't reflect light. If you get some little imperfections in it and it's had something go through it and it's starting to get dull, you're going to start to see light reflection. When you get a lot of that, <clears throat> I would say it's time to think about replacing the burrs. So think about that. Clean this up as well. Get the, these little uh, paddles right here. That's what takes the ground coffee and sends it down the chute. Clean those off. They always have coffee all over them. Some dental picks would good, be good. I just didn't have them handy hanging around, but that's what, you know, sometimes if you want to get really detailed on this, dental tools. And you know, well, I don't know if, the, you know, I had a dentist in the family, so I got dental tools that were no longer useful in the shop at the dentist's office, but they were kind of nice to have. The real deal. All right, I think I got most of that out of there. So you get the idea. You can go as far as you want with this. You know, you could really sit here and pick away at it, but you get the idea. Oh, I forgot to do this one. Let's not uh, give it less than equal time. Attention. The more maintenance you do on these, the better. And then in between, taking it apart, Every now and again, uh, especially if you're using an oilier bean, uh, use grinds, G-R-I-N-D-Z, on our webpage. That stuff is fabulous. Uh, you just run it through the grinder and then chase it with some coffee. And in between doing this in more in-depth cleaning, that stuff is unbelievable. Uh, it just, I can't say enough good about it because it's great stuff. All right. So. Put this back together. The big screws. I'm not going to wash that right now. You get the idea on that too. I'm going to use this to put it back in, but don't over tighten it. This is an impact wrench, which works really well for taking screws out that are really stuck in there if you have an impact wrench. So I like the fact that we're not losing the adjustment. That's a biggie to me because, you know, you don't have to go crazy trying to dial it back in again.
Alrighty. Rubber bumper back in. Hopper back on. And when you put the hopper back on, make sure that this uh, groove, um, it's like a tab that's hanging down, corresponds with the screw over here. There's a spot for it. You'll be able to see it though. Screw that back in if you're using that, which, see, what that does is that keeps that from coming off while you're trying to take the hopper off and clean it or unload it, change beans, whatever. Don't tighten this too tight either. You don't want to break it. See, now that comes off. Got this clean. Beans back. Open it up. Fills the uh, two burrs back up again and looking good. So that's how to clean the Fosto. And on the outside here, you know, all I do with ours is either a nice soft cloth with some Windex glass cleaner. That's all I do. Yeah, it works really well. Same thing on the uh, rocket machines. Polish, polish. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay tuned for the next how to clean something else. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm sure they'll come up with something for me. Stay tuned. Thanks a lot.